one type of argument that you were going for. It wasn't like just privacy or just against terrorism. You also addressed like racism, how surveillance fails, and how privacy is key, as well as why it's not legal, right? And that's four different aspects that they have to answer, which is like good because I think that gave you a really good strategical advantage right off the bat because it made it really hard for the first con speaker to actually try to address all of these points and also for the second con speaker as well because all you had to do is just add, up, add on to these parts. So I think that you should just keep your app the way it is because it's pretty good right now. Um, next, for the first con speech, um, I think that you do a good job overall, I think, but then the one problem I have with here that kind of stuck out is like your answer to racism. I mean like, because if you actually like read the card, it's talking about how like there's still, there has been racism in America for like hundreds of years. And then it talks about mainly like slavery that happened, like the Atlantic slave trade. Um, so it doesn't really address Islamophobia and it's not really making an argument either because if anything, it's actually supporting, it's actually making you look kind of bad because it's making it seem like you're trying to say that racism is inevitable in a way. So then it makes it seem like you guys aren't trying to make an attempt to solve it, right? So it's just like you're telling the judge to just ignore their Islamophobia like impact just because racism has happened before and this isn't be relevant within the debate. And as a judge, their argument is much more appealing because they address a certain aspect of the topic that you guys just look like are trying to cover up. Um, for the second pro-constructive, I actually like your line by line. The problem is that like you make some arguments that like didn't really make sense. So then when you talked about bin Laden, you said that that reinforces your Islamophobia evidence. Um, it doesn't really, and unless you actually find evidence that says that in the process of trying to find bin Laden, Muslims were hurt because of the surveillance that the US government did. Or something else that you could have said was, and when you answer their NSA 4 of the 50 terrorist plots, so then the first card that you have for your first constructive, it's like a really good card because it manages to talk a lot about how like Muslims are mainly portrayed as terrorists, right? And then you can be like the fact that um, the fact that like Bin Laden was mainly tart, actually no, not that. You could actually state examples from the status quo in which Muslims were wrongly accused of terrorism. And then you can be like these 50 terrorist plots might not have even been plots in the first place. It might have been like innocent Muslims, right? Yeah. And um, I actually, and then I think you guys did a good job of answering their answers to racism. You guys managed to figure out that their evidence wasn't really like pertaining to your argument, wasn't really relevant. And also you guys do a really good job of extending your case as a whole. So good job with that. And I like the fact that you make a lot of turns, especially here, like you add a lot of offense, which made it a lot harder for them down the stretch. So good job with that. And then in the second con constructive, I think that you should spend much more time on racism because then I think at this point in the debate, it's pretty obvious that they're gonna go for racism. So then, because it's probably the strongest impact they have. And then the fact that you're spending too much time trying to answer their privacy, key to life, and surveillance Fourth Amendment, um, it doesn't, like these, the, the three arguments here, like privacy is key to life, Fourth Amendment, and the government becomes oppressive, these arguments aren't as important to their case as Islamophobia is. Because in, this, in their second speech, they kind of piled all of their time on explaining Islamophobia as a whole, right? Not talking about these other arguments. So it's good that you're trying to answer them, you're trying to limit their options in the future, but then I think that you should try to get through them much faster so that you could spend time on Islamophobia and racism as a whole. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Um, you didn't really answer their turn very well when, this, when they said that surveillance increases terrorism because of Islamophobia. All you said is that they managed to foil 50 terrorist plots, but you really can't just say because they foiled 50 terrorist plots, it's working, right? Because you need to try to explain your evidence in a way that makes you look better than to just say 50 terrorist, 
terrorist plots, right? Because to the judge, that just sounds like those 50 terrorist plots could have been like anything as small as someone trying to like, sh someone with a gun in a building, to someone trying to suicide bomb like a cafe, right? So then you need to try to expand the scale into the point where like the impact becomes relevant in the debate. And then uh, in the first summary speech for the pro, yeah, okay, you do like a really, like I was actually really impressed because then I didn't know that at this level you would be able to like narrow down the topic to just like, and like you would be able to like pick out of all of the other arguments and narrow it down to like only racism and then like go really hard on that argument. But then you actually managed to do that, which um, I was kind of impressed with. I didn't think that you would be able to do that. I thought you would go for like everything and I would be like sad again. But yeah, good job. <laughs> and also, uh, I really like how you use like three very strong arguments against their NSA um, argument because I think you identified the fact that that was the only argument that could actually make the difference in the long run. And then you managed to answer it with, with like the analytics, which actually took up a lot of her time within her speech, which gave you another like strategic and like time advantage, right? And also, um, I guess you could have spent a bit more time explaining Islamophobia, because to a judge, to, because sometimes you'll get a judge that's not very like familiar on the topic, and then in that case, I think that requires a bit of clarification, and you need to try to explain that card to its fullest extent, because the first card that you have here, it's, it's like a really good piece of evidence. It manages to give you like a lot of warrants and a lot of like, arguments you could utilize in the debate. It's not just talking about how like Islamophobia is increasing because surveillance is, talk is targeting Muslims. It's also talking about like how this could also increase terrorism or this could like cause other racial forms of violence, right? And then you also need to talk about like those separate impacts that this one card can give you. And I think that if you utilize this better, then um, this round would have been like a much easier decision. For the last speech, um, I think that the only argument that you really need to worry about is Islamophobia, but then I see why you wouldn't be able to like devote all your time to that, seeing that the last speech and then all of the pro speeches did a really good job of covering Islamophobia as a whole. So if I were you, I think I would have gone really hard for the privacy, um, privacy being key to life is, a, is bad, right? Because if you get rid of that as a framework, then that might like, I guess, sway the judge in a way that's, that proves that Islamophobia isn't that big of an impact, right? Because then you can argue that Islamophobia and racism shouldn't be outweighed by like terrorist attacks at the scale of 9-11. And then because that can affect and kill more people, right? And I think that the, the con has, has like a card that says that Another terrorist attack is style of 9-11 and destroys civil liberties. If you had read that, I think that would have helped you a lot more. Because then you can also argue like a rollback argument by saying that if there was another terrorist attack, then surveillance would increase, which causes more Islamophobia to occur. And because of that, the only choice that we have is to actually like just go for surveillance and hope for the best. So it's basically like a try or die for the con, you know? So, but good job though.